If there are any among this people who should ever apostatize, prepare your backs for a good whipping. Pastore di Francesca. Pastore Vincenzo di Francesca has been ordered before the Committee of Censure on this, the third day of January 1912, to answer charges of heretical preaching and the promotion of disharmony among the pastoral brotherhood. It has been a... Vincenzo, they tell me you have a book from which you are preaching new doctrine. I have, Reverendo. And what is the name of this book? Its name had long since been worn from the cover when I found it, and the title page was missing. I do not know the name of it. No matter. The book has been the source of trouble and disharmony to the Brotherhood. The attendance at your colleagues' sermons has been dwindling. While well, I could hardly find a seat at your service last week. Such sensationalism and inequality is disruptive to the peace of the Brotherhood. Quite so, Vincenzo. The Council is determined that for the good of the Brotherhood, and for your good, you must burn the book. I cannot burn the book, because I fear God. I have asked him if it is true, and my prayers have been answered affirmatively. Positively, without a shade of doubt. I feel it in my whole heart, mind, and body at this instant. That book, which oppresses you, must be burned, or you will incur the most serious displeasure. I repeat, I will not burn the book. I prefer to go out of the ministry rather than burn the book. Drive is my good soul. Having been born and raised in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, I used scientific research and, and study to learn that Joseph Smith is indeed factually a translator. Now, obviously, I don't have access to any literal existing uh, gold plates. And so I'm not talking about the Book of Mormon. I'm talking about what I could use science to study. Thus, Joseph Smith's King Follett sermon claiming that the biblical Hebrew text was translated incorrectly from the original document. I'm referring to his Egyptian translations. All are correct, scientifically, literally correct. Just like any other language that is translated. And this has come as a shock to Mormons. They deny that I'm capable of finding this information out. Only President Nelson, whoever the president of the church is, is the only one allowed to translate. Really? That's stupid. But nonetheless. And then ex FOMOs are just in denial. No, it can't be true. Joseph Smith is false. He's a fraud. It's not true. I'm not going to listen to you. I've already made up my mind. And, and so here I am in the middle of both worlds, both of which were born and raised Mormon just like me. And yet, Mormons and ex-FOMOs don't study, never have. I studied, I learned the truth. Mormons and ex-FOMOs 
continue to live a lie and deny the truth because they don't know they just deny and it's even more discouraging that Mormons by embracing the still small feeling and thus ex FOMOs embrace the still small feeling as well all born and raised Mormon it's just I use science I didn't rely on feelings to think that I knew things so Mormons have the positive spiritual witness feeling Mormons have the doubt promoting spiritual witness feeling ex FOMOs and that's stupid literally stupid because Mormons and ex FOMOs are able to just claim whatever they want that supports them and ignore and dismiss and deny anything that doesn't support them so for example both Mormons and ex FOMOs believe that the Book of Mormon is another testament of Jesus Christ it's just that ex FOMOs believe that it's a fraud <laughs> it's plagiarized fraud and whereas me learning of the Jews first Nephi chapter 1 verse 2 oh okay I need to know what the learning of the Jews is nobody else wants to know what the learning of the Jews is nobody else learns the truth just me and once I learn the learning of the Jews everything is simple just like with the translation oh yeah there it is and, and so I've been able to continue to branch out and learn more stuff from using science whereas everybody else they just continue to plug in only those things that are faith promoting or doubt promoting if there are ex-fomos nobody wants to know the truth <sighs> very frustrating so as a result I've learned lots of things that I cannot discuss with you guys as I try to do videos to help lead you into those discussions and insights but I am shut down by disbelievers denialists and haters and so I don't know if it's because you guys are knowingly white supremacists knowingly anti-semites and so you're attacking me to submit to your white supremacy you guys don't know my history my parents made sure I was in white supremacist neighborhoods growing up in Southern California my mom purposely wanted us to be privileged <laughs> she didn't want us to grow up in Utah though that was interesting but nonetheless she wanted to retire in Utah to spend the rest of her days doing temple work thus since elder Irene back in the day told her that he wasn't going to have a temple built in Southern California and he went on to have the bountiful temple just built down the road from him <laughs> instead that caused my parents to move to Utah back in the day but uh, yeah I, I just I, I'm struggling to comprehend 
what it is that's triggering Mormons and ex-FOMOs. Ex-FOMOs, more so I understand, because they have to deny that science is true so that Joseph Smith can be false. I understand that. They have to deny the Joseph Smith papers that I've yet again proven Joseph Smith was not a polygamist. <laughs> the High Council document just destroys this church with just the two inputs back to back. <laughs> oh, Brigham Young was calling himself the president, was he? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but, uh... I mean, but Mormons, I, I don't get. Do Mormons seriously not want to learn their religion? I'm having difficulty understanding this. I mean, yeah, I'm well aware that the majority of Mormons just sat and went through the motions. And many, with the cell phone invention, were just sitting around and just looking at their phones throughout all the meetings. <laughs> Probably watching my videos to put a thumbs down on them. <laughs> but I don't, I don't understand how Mormons want to be Mormon but don't want to know the truth about the church. That when they read something, there's no footnote, so they just move on. They have to go out of their way to type on their cell phone for a Google search. <laughs> Messianism and Judaism. Or Messiah Ben Joseph and Messiah Ben David. I mean, maybe it's because they're traumatized that in their brain it just shuts off and they go into shock. Oh no, learning of the Jews, we're not Christian after all, we've been lied to, the prophets are deceiving us and stealing our money. And then they go into a comatose zombie state and just go through the motions for the rest of their life. I don't know. Mormons aren't making any sense. Did you want to know if your church is true? Or are you just wanting to keep repeating that it's true until you finally believe it? <laughs> and force the rest of us to believe it? Seriously? You think that psychology is the way to go? I had a guy ask me uh, in a comment the other day if I believe that all psychology is bad. Yes, it's all bad. It's been corrupted. Just keep watching my videos on the subject. All of it is bad. It's not a few bad apples. The whole thing is corrupted because they use fallacy arguments. They do not use anything that is sound. Just once you introduce a fallacy into your argument, you're automatically wrong. You've got to redo the premises and replace the fallacy with logic. And Mormons don't get this. Apologists. Mormon apologists only use fallacy. They are not capable of using logic. Because when it comes to learning of the Jews, yeah, not a single one will use logic, and it gets skipped for that purposeful reason. The religion of the Jews is not Christian. 
It is Christians who claim that it's Judeo-Christian values. No. The Ten Commandments is not referring to Jesus. These are basic things that even little kids can understand. This is Judaism. This is Christianity. Not the same. And yet, Christians say, Oh yeah, we're the one true religion. Not those Jews who murdered our Christ. It was a Jewish author who wrote about it after the destruction of the temple. Huh? So yeah, apparently nobody knows how to do Google search to look up the Nicene Creed. And yeah, it can be frustrating sometimes when you don't know what to Google search. But in that particular case, when Joseph says the, all their creeds are an abomination, it's a pretty easy thing to do to type in what's the first creed of Christianity. <laughs> That's how I did it. And I'm computer illiterate. And so this hate against me this abuse towards me and the death threats by Ray Montgomery. Dear God. Why? You know, Ray is saying that I'm going against the Christian God. Yeah, it's the false God. <laughs> Why does the false God have to be true in order for you to back off and leave me alone? Did you not want to know the truth? Do you not want to worship the right one? Be in the right church? Or are you just going to go with the flow in the wrong, great and abominable church? Because that's what you're doing. You have absolutely no interest in knowing the truth. But there's the danger in doing this. In pretending to be dumb, which is a common thing. And it's been done for decades, even among my peers in Southern California, to act dumb. And women finally caught on after the 80s abuse of the blonde. <laughs> Has they then figured out Oh, I can still be smart, but just pretend to be dumb so that other people will do things for me. <laughs> I just need to get a boob job and I'll get anything I want. <laughs> Not for me. You're just going to get tears from me that you would shame your body. <laughs> oh well. So yeah, the danger is that because the church is lying to you, that there are some threats that they've been making towards you under the cover of Jesus. And these threats are to take away your life, your liberty, and your property. You are being scammed and conned for the sole purpose of eventually murdering you. You're being used for their benefit. And that, I, I just, I can't understand even if you want to live in denialism, not recognizing the threat is disturbing. That you would actually participate in this destruction that is going on. And so yes, Christianity, and thus Islam, and thus the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints says that Revelation 19 
is the second coming of Jesus Christ in the clouds of glory. What they will not tell you, because of Christian blindness, is that John, the Jewish author, is actually writing about the date of when that event is to occur. It's not about a burning, but there is a burning in Malachi. They're separated. Jesus is not supposed to be the burner. It's not even supposed to be Jesus because he's Emmanuel in a symbolic form of the Jewish prophecy. And so, because of Christians being the enemy who are wanting to cause this burning and claim it's the coming of Jesus, then I can only assume that those in the top know about it. And that's why they're keeping it a secret from the world. And somebody went and put in, no man knows the day or the hour, when the day and the hour is throughout the whole book of Matthew. Even in Matthew 24 and 25, where it was inserted in. It's right in there. But when you got zombies who just throw out scriptures that supports their faith promotion or doubt promotion you can't break through to those people because they will not listen they will not believe they want to pretend to be ignorant and force that ignorance with threats of violence and murder on to everybody else and so I'm expecting that that is the day when they are planning to cause some 9-11 event of a burning because that's what they've interpreted it as and that they'll then claim that those who died have been raptured <laughs> yep though we can see that they stinketh with their charred corpse they're with Jesus right now it's pure evil but even if it doesn't happen then yeah I can cut back on videos again I can go back into retirement because it's been made very clear by the enemy that our election will destroy America this year. There will be no America with Trump winning or not winning. America will be destroyed. And so the deep state dumbs who are telling you that your vote matters, your vote counts, get out there and vote. We need to get people to vote. Won't matter. The enemy already said it won't matter. They're going to rig the election. They're going to deny your vote. They're going to decertify the election, even if it's decertifying in the states, where the state says we do not accept the election result for president. We voted as a state for this president, and he is our president. We do not accept the national winner. America will be divided, and America will be destroyed. We already know this is going to happen because they've already told us this is going to happen, and they've already been making all the changes necessary to make it happen. So, yeah, I can only see them doing the 9-11 event just to do it during Biden's watch. To try to claim that, see, Biden let this happen to America. We can't have him as president anymore. It wouldn't have happened, and it didn't happen under Trump. But you didn't listen to Trump. He said he wanted to nuke us. <laughs> he was told no. <laughs> no. 
this next time, if he becomes president, he will get people who will say yes. And so yes, Trump will nuke us. He already says he wants to nuke us. He wants revenge. He wants a bloodbath. I listened to the clip. I listened to the clip on Fox that we're trying to complain. That's not what Trump said. The deep state press are making a big deal out of this. They took it out of context. Well, I heard your context. Yeah, that's exactly what he said. He's going to cause a bloodbath. <laughs> you gotta pay attention. <laughs> yes, he was talking about the auto workers. And yes, he also added bloodbath. If he loses, he included both. It's just unbelievable. But he's already told us that this was going to happen anyway with the 2020 election. We already knew. He's already said it. I mean, I don't know, maybe Trump followers and supporters don't actually follow and support him. They don't watch his rallies. Those who go to the rally don't listen to them. They're there for the, the experience. Yeah, I was at the Trump rally, man. Yeah, he said we're going to murder people. <laughs> it was awesome. Yeah, but yeah, he's going to deport everybody. I heard that very clearly. A massive deportation. And I'm not, he wasn't talking just of the southern border. Because he threw in, those at the southern border are from China and from the Middle East and from Africa. That's what you got to pay attention to. Because Biden is already letting them in. <laughs> and so how is Trump going to deport these Chinese and African and Middle Easterners who have snuck through the borders. Yeah, you do outward appearance judgment, racial profiling. Oh, you look black, get out. You look Chinese, get out. You look Middle Eastern, get out. It's coming. And then all the other things. LGBTQ. Yeah. Death. Women who get an abortion. Have a miscarriage. Men who masturbate. Death. <laughs> You're murderers. have to be married otherwise it's murder even though it still is murder with a wife you have to die so yeah there's a whole bunch more on that but it's just a frustrating that nobody wants to listen nobody wants to believe and I saw the Star Trek episode of the original Captain Kirk with the uh, Riddler who was on the show, was he had black on the one side and white on the other, whereas his evil, devolved human counterpart had the wrong colors on the wrong side. <laughs> and their whole world was destroyed. And so, did they make peace with each other? Nope. <laughs> they went back to their planet to the rubble among the ash of their fellow men and kept chasing each other to murder the other. Well, yeah, good old days of the original Batman cast. Catwoman was on Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. Yep. Wow. <laughs> I think her name was Dorcas and Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. Biblical name. 
Yeah. Yeah, my mom laughed about calling Tabitha Dorcas when she knew that she finally announced that she successfully conceived the child after several miscarriages. My mom's a murderer. <laughs> yeah, she's dead now. And so I don't understand why Mormons hate Joseph Smith and the Book of Mormon. Because that's what you do. You hate it. When you refuse to acknowledge it for what it is, you hate. By dismissing and replacing the learning of the Jews with Christianity, you hate them. You cannot serve two masters. You cannot say that Joseph Smith is true and then call him a Christian. You can't say the Book of Mormon is true and say it's another testament of Jesus Christ. And I know. You want to protect the prophets, make sure that they're true at all costs, but they're not. They're lying to you. They're wanting to hurt you. And you get mad at me and you want to hurt me. I already knew this bullying tactic from my peers in Southern California when I was a little kid. And here you are doing it. I'm not quite sure why my parents, specifically my mom, didn't want me to be raised in Utah. Hmm. I ended up fulfilling the prophecy, but nobody cares. <laughs>